So model context protocols. In this video, we are going to look and design a model context protocol client for Gradio interface. And we are going to use that on Cloud Desktop, the MCP client. And it's pretty easy, it's just five lines of code. And I really wonder how come MCP got so easier to make. So let's go ahead and check this out. So if you've heard of MCP or model context protocol, basically it's just a protocol for the LLMs. It's designed for the LLM so that LLM can bridge the gap between external data sources and their internal thinking. So we already had tools, we had function callings, but this MCP is an advanced version, if I may of function calling and tool use because when we say mcp of any server then we get a list of different tools and we can select any of the tools and if there is an update in any of the tools given by the client we don't need to change our code our code our llm automatically decides the best tool to use well I'm getting ahead of myself but I have uh, pasted all the codes on my repo so if you go to prompt engineer 48 mcp client gradio we have this code it's just five lines of code but again so let's copy this code and go to my cursor here and just clone it so get clone and paste in the repo so this is my repo I go inside this repo and now I can see this main file so this is the main file it's pretty simple as you can see it's pretty simple so we need to do installation of course we need to do some installations or just one installation which is pip install gradio I hope I'm correct so pip install gradio so you can see that this is the command so pip install gradio you can go ahead and install on your environment so once we have that that is just a single requirement once we have that we can now go ahead and check our code so we import gradio as gr and this is the entire function that we have defined this is the letter counter the name of the function it takes in two arguments the word and the letter so our aim is to find a particular letter in that word how many letters how many times the letter appears in the word so count the occurrence of a specific letter in a word and there are two arguments the word and the letter and it returns the number of times the letter appears in the word so these are just uh, comments but we can see that it returns word dot lower dot count and letter dot lower so it counts how many times a particular letter appears in the word so this is it this is just a small function and now we use uh, the gr okay this is a small function and now we use gr.interface we put in the name of the function which is letter count here we take in two inputs text and text we look at the output which returns the number uh, and these are just the front end view if you go to radio i will show in just a second but this is the title for the ui and this is a description uh, of the ui so we just launched this demo.launch mcp server equal to true so this is what uh, the guys at gradio has done is just a simple command mcp server is equal to true this is going to launch the mcp server but before we go to the mcp server let's see if this thing is working so python main.py and we can run this like this so this starts up the gradio interface on my local url so you can see this is the local url you can go to 7860 or you can go click control and click here you'll be taken here and let's say i say the word um, happy uh, fear let's say and the letter a so if you run this you can see that the letter a appears in this word two number of times so as i was saying uh, the input is text and text which is this text and this text and then you can see output is number here this will be a number output the title is the letter count this is the letter counter and the description is count how many times the letter appears in a word this is the description of the ui now this is pretty simple you have already seen this as well but we can see on the bottom that mcv server is running here so this is interesting 
so if you go to this ui which is running and you can go to use via api here then what happens is that we get different things so how to use this on python from javascript curl but i'm really interested in the mcp so if you go to this mcp you can see that this is the mcp server url so the mcp is running here so how to use this mcp now in order to use this mcp we need to import it somewhere on different clients uh, that you want to use so we need to import this piece of code you can see that uh, this is the mcp endpoint and this is mcp remote command npx next we need to go ahead and install cloud for desktop now i already have installed cloud for desktop and this is the desktop now if you go to file if you go to settings and then you go to developer and then you go to edit config then you'll be brought here so this is cloud desktop config json file if you click you would see nothing uh, when you started for the first time but now what you need to do is you want to go ahead but now what you need to do is you want to go ahead and copy this and paste it here okay so once you paste it you can close everything of course you need to have npm installed on your pc as well so we close everything up we close uh, the cloud desktop as well and then we open again so cloud desktop now this time if you open you can go to this control bar search and tools and you can see that we have this gradio mcp which is running so now if you ask a question uh, like uh, what is the capital of india do we need an mcp here or do we have any mcp which will be used when you ask this question of course not because this is a question which can be answered by the cloud uh, cloud itself okay now let me show you something that will use this mcp client of gradio so if i write this how many times the letter a appears in the word canada now let's run this what do you expect we expect it to use the mcp client of gradio so you can see that cloud would like to use an external integration of gradio and then you're going to say allow this so allow once and you can see that it is going to predict and give it the answer the letter a appears three times in the word uh, in the let in the word canada so you can see that these occurrences are the second letter the fourth letter and the sixth letter and this is really amazing so this is what i wanted to show you as you can see it's pretty simple we just need to have this mcp client running on your system this is a local mcp client and for that matter you can add any number of tools and use this so this is just a start we can now create amazing applications using mcp by the way stay tuned to my channel because i'm going to create more videos like this implementing different mcps and trying different things to make your life easier so having said that this is your host prompt engineer check out the next video subscribe to this channel and i will see you next time